so much going on we have to talk about. Probably the biggest story in the world these days is what's going on in Yugoslavia. This is exciting. It's riveting. Slobodan Milosevic is out. They kicked him out. A new democratic government is in. And the people of Belgrade are dancing in the streets. It's extremely exciting. And we here at Late Night are especially excited for the Yugoslavians. We just, we are. We're just very pro-democratic people here. And I thought it might be nice if we took a moment now to celebrate their newfound freedom in a little segment I'm going to call Yugoslavia, Welcome to Democracy. music would go on a little longer. Uh, now, basically, we do very, Jeff, this is, not, this is true, we do extremely well in Yugoslavia. They're probably watching right now. We're the number one show there. Well, number two, Baywatch, then us. So I'm going to talk right to the Yugoslavian people. Folks, you are going to love democracy. Sure, your war-torn country may seem depressing now, but have no fear. With the help of multinational corporations, your ruined towns and cities will soon be beautified by... Coca-Cola, Marlboro, and of course, some of the biggest United States entertainers. And I think this is exciting. Don't laugh at that. It's depressing. Now let's talk about Milosevic. If he leaves the country, he'll be arrested as a war criminal. So it looks like you guys are stuck with Milosevic for a while, but that's okay. We have come up with some possible alternative uses for your former dictator. You can use him as a department store mannequin. He could be a stuntman in the movies. Or my favorite, a surfboard. I think it'd be fantastic, too. It wasn't really my favorite. Uh, to say that about the third. Here's another great benefit of democracy. You're now free to give your government some healthy, constructive criticism, just like in our country, where people can express their sophisticated views on the political scene. Take a look. Four sucks! Everybody sucks! They don't know rock and roll! You liked that one, June, didn't you? <laughs> I got his shirt off. All right. You sickened me. Yugoslavia, you're finally going to be having some free elections, which means you'll soon be enjoying another staple of democracy, the negative political ad. Here's what your new president, Kostunica, has to look forward to. Remember when Vojislav Kostunica took office and said things would get better? That was four days ago. <laughs> Face it, Yugoslavia, we've been had. Fact is, he's done nothing since Saturday. Paid for by concerned citizens who have singled out Kostunica for abuse. You know, uh, Yugoslavia, sometimes the transition to democracy can be very difficult. That's why the United States government has prepared this training film to acquaint you Yugoslavians with the brave new world of democracy you're about to enter. Watch carefully. So you've overthrown your dictator and decided to give democracy a try. Fantastic. Democracy is one of the most popular forms of government in the world today. But what does it really mean to live in a democratic society? Will life really be all that different? You better believe it. Here's Democracy Dan to show you how. Hi, Democracy Dan. Let's show our new friend what democracy is all about. In a democracy, you can comb your hair. You can sit in a chair. You can even breathe air for free. But remember, hot stoves are still dangerous to touch. In a democracy, you can open a door. You can tiptoe. You can feel how sticky an orange is. But remember, hot stoves are still dangerous to touch. In a democracy, you can sit Indian style. You can 
add numbers. You can drop things. But remember, oh, you know, if you keep these simple lessons in mind, your experiment with democracy can be a happy and rewarding one. Thanks, Democracy Dan. I'm really saying nothing.